Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today we're gonna to look at five more tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken device today with a bonus tweak included. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. First up, before I get a bunch of questions about what widget and what tweaks I'm currently running to get this theme, I'll go ahead and link in the cards right here the video of the perfect jailbroken setup. That video goes into detail over what tweaks and what theme I am running. The next tweak I got for you guys is called Hub. So if we double tap my status bar, it will drop down and activate. So basically it's just a bunch of little shortcuts to different specific things. So you got a bunch of app shortcuts, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, different settings that you can adjust. If we swipe over to the next page, you have a little web browser. So you can go ahead and search for whatever it is that you're trying to search for on the web without having to take over the whole entire screen. So if we go ahead and search for my channel, you can just go ahead through all of these videos right here and go ahead and smash that like button on all of them. But if we keep scrolling over, you can see that you can also run the map right here, change it to satellite. If we scroll over again, there's a calculator. So it's just really useful, really functional. If we hop into the settings of this tweet, you can go over to Hub and you can adjust what modules you want. These are the current modules that I'm running. You can adjust the order of them. If we go back to these settings, you can change it to Celsius and Fahrenheit, notepad settings. There's just a bunch of different settings that you can configure. If we go over to hub settings, you can go ahead and adjust how it's enabled. There's a long press, a double tap, a triple tap. We can go ahead and switch over to a long press. Go ahead and respring the device. All right, now that the device is resprung, if we go ahead and long hold on the status bar, it'll drop it down. It just looks super clean. A bunch of different customizations that you can adjust to make this tweak your own. Anyways, guys, that one is called hub. All right, this next one is kind of cool. It's called groups. So what groups allows you to do is it will add a new button up here called groups to your messages app. So if we go ahead and hit this button, you can go back to all messages. This will be all the messages. If we go back to a group that I created, we can go to the friends group. The coolest thing about this is when you organize all of your contacts into a group, you can do one mass text message to them. So if you hold down the groups button, it will ask you what do you want to message to this group of friends. Type your message, send. We'll go ahead and send it to everyone in the group. So if we go back to the main page of all messages, if you want to add somebody to a group, you just swipe over, tap add to group. You can go ahead and adjust which group you want them to be in. So now that we put Cody over into groups, we'll go ahead and select friends group and you'll notice that there he is right over there. So you can do friends, family, you can go ahead and customize the messages. So group names right here, you can go ahead and customize these to make them whatever you want. Just go ahead and tap the apply button, but really useful tweak, kind of cleans up your messages. If you have tons of messages, it makes it more organized. Anyways, guys, that one's called groups. Moving right along, we'll go jump right into Wonder Bar. As you notice, my top status bar up here is a bunch of different colors. So if we go into Wonder Bar settings right here, we can go ahead and adjust the colors and the text of a bunch of different things up in your status bar. So right now I have the Wi-Fi bars themed and the battery themed and the time, the clock. You can go ahead and adjust the battery size a really simple tweak just to give a pop of color to your device. I feel like it runs pretty good with the current theme that I have. It just makes everything kind of match because I have everything colorized on my device. As you'll notice right here on my home screen, we have a couple big fat dots all over the place. Basically those dots indicate a notification. So I have a notification for Twitter, YouTube, mail, 
So if we go ahead and jump over to the settings of this tweak, it is called Dotto Plus. We can go ahead and adjust the colors. You can make it into an O style. I have adaptive colors on, which means that whatever application and color the app is, for example, Facebook is blue, the Dotto is going to be blue. Twitter's blue, YouTube is red. Folders, for some reason, are the default of red. It's a cool little tweak that is 100% free. So go ahead and check it out. All right, next up we got emoji status. This is just a small, simple tweak that will allow you to put emojis up in your notification center. So if we go ahead and pull it down, you can see we got the TNT right there for the TNT's channel. You can go ahead and just uh, customize whatever emoji that you want. Once you have gone and selected the emoji, it might require a respring. If you'll notice on my lock screen, we have our notifications all grouped up. So you can just go ahead and select the different notifications to see them. It can make your lock screen look a whole lot cleaner. So if we go ahead over to Groupie, that is the tweak that is currently running on the lock screen. There are a couple options to configure. You can make them into squares or you can change the alignment, show the latest notification. So basically whatever the latest notification is, it's, it will show it in the box right here. But it's a very simple tweak. Anyways guys, that one is called Groupie. That's it for this video. We went through five tweaks plus a bonus tweak called Groupie. Make sure you remember to go ahead and smack that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.